Dad, you've reached that point uh, every single year where now all you do is talk about how tired you are every five <laughs> seconds. We mercifully, not not while we've been recording. Right. It's just, just to me, you've been a pain in the ass. I've saved so. it for you because I know you enjoy it so much. Oh, it's great. He, you're fantastic. So I've, the, been up, I've been up since 3.45 yeah. this morning. Get your hand off the mic. <laughs> so I wanted to throw you a bone here, Dad, all because right. you've hated most of the things that didn't involve Octopi. Uh, so we're going to go and play a game that me and you, when I was growing up, have probably played, I bet we've played hundreds of games of this against each other. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. And I played a bunch without you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, tell the story about your lunch thing back then. Oh, it's really kind of sad and pathetic, but I'll go ahead and tell you. You're talking to gamers. You're up. <laughs> You're up. Well, Europe. You're up. Oh, um. <laughs> you <laughs> thought you were just randomly naming continents. I didn't know what you were doing. Uh, what was this, 94? Yeah. I'm trying to think who was good in 94. The Expos were good in 94. I was always the Braves. They had Dave Justice and Ron Gant. I'm going to be the Braves. I want to be the Royals. Okay. No, I want to be the Expos. Okay. Because they were good then. So, yeah, you used to come home from work. Well, let's go to, let's go to Coffin. Okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, as a, I think I was 30-ish right then, in the early 30s, and I loved this game so much, I would actually come home on my work hour, my lunch hour, and play this game and I had it timed out how long a game took and I knew exactly when to leave and when to start and whether I could start a new one and it's really sad. And I remember you had a spiral notebook where you kept a track of your 168 game or 162 game season or whatever it is, with all your stats and also they didn't have the Players Association license so all these guys have fake names uh -huh. but they were based on real baseball players so my dad went through and renamed them all by matching their game stats to their real life stats at the time. So, I yeah, just, I, I love that's what I think about when you call me a nerd all the time. I just realized that I give you a hard time that you're almost 30 and still doing this crap. And you play Mario Kart and Resident Evil. God, and, and actually, we have not warmed up on this at all. This is just going to be a muscle memory thing. Yeah, it's been, I mean, it's been at least 10 years since I've played this. Am yeah. I batting? Yeah, <laughs> that's a good start. <laughs> oh, you know what? It is coming back to me. It comes back. That's the thing with games. That's when it's weird. When you grew up playing, uh, it, it comes back pretty quick. This is so fun. <laughs> I love this. You gonna lead off? <laughs> wow, it's crazy how just, yeah, I don't have to look at a single control thing That's or anything. Bizarre. Here I ah. That was the thing, I think you usually beat me, didn't you? Mm, we're pretty evenly matched. You'd always fake me out with the pitches. <laughs> just like you did with me? Yeah. Um, and we decided we're gonna do five innings here. We're not gonna play right. a full game, so at the end of the five innings. That's, ah, damn it, of course it's gonna win. Son of a bitch. All right. All right. Ah, now see, this is what a video game should be like right here. I'm not going to act like this isn't a great game. I love this game. No, but just the general premise is you're actively involved and there's stuff going on. Well, you realize they still have baseball games, right? But you would hate them because they're super complicated. Well, I actually have uh, MLB, like 2008. Let me guess, what, what console? <laughs> the Wii. The Wii. He bought Madden and some MLB game on Wii, so that's not really indicative of where sports games are today. Damn it. It's still fun, though. But it's even even that's a little almost too complicated for me. See, this is Otis Nixon, so he was super duper fast. I remember. Oh, forgot how to throw. There we go. Darn it. Yeah, Nixon was uh, Otis Nixon. That's funny you say that. Mm-hmm. I found out the other day he was married to because he was a really goofy looking guy. Hope he's not watching. <laughs> he works upstairs. <laughs> seems <laughs> seems unlikely. <laughs> but I remember right. If I remember right, he was married to some really really attractive actress or something. Huh. I'm sure money had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Because <laughs> women hate money. That, that's your thing that you've always done is you always get angry when celebrities and sports figures have hot wives. You go, ah, he wouldn't have been, Tiger Woods wouldn't have that sweet supermodel if he wasn't a rich supermodel. Well, well like, I'm right, aren't I? Well, yes, but it's like you act like it's this revelation that only you have figured out. <laughs> if Tiger Woods worked at 7-Eleven, he would still be a virgin. It's the same thing that they say about, like, uh, never mind. everyone knows this, but you act like you're the only person that realizes that rich sports stars do well with women. I forgot how to throw. You know, Mick Jagger looks a little weird, but I think he's had sex with some nice-looking ladies. I don't sound like that at <laughs> all. My voice never does that. <laughs> ah, it's David Justice. How are, you, how, how are you doing this? I'm good at games. I've played this a bunch. Okay, I remember how to throw. Now you're in trouble. Brown, okay. I'm hungry and tired. Oh, fun. You're bringing out your A material. <laughs> <laughs> We're graduating to fat and old soon. Oh, it's coming around the corner. 
Oh. <laughs> As Chris Rock would say, that train is never late. <laughs> <Mira. laughs> <laughs> that one gets you every time. I'm going to do it again. You ready? Yeah. It's going to be a change up curvy thing. Okay, I'm ready outside. for it. I'm ready for it. Damn it! <laughs> But I, I brought it here. What's going on here? Oh, crap. I let off. And so I automatically ran. And Fantastic. All right. I'm still in this thing. You, Van, yeah. Van Morrison's up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because there was a, like there's an all-presidents team. There was yeah. an all... Uh, this is a... writer. Ass writer? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, ass writer. <laughs> there's no musician named writer, is there? I can't think of who that would be. Ass rabble. This is... This is <laughs> rabble, rabble. Rabble. <laughs> this... <laughs> This isn't the musician team. No, no, it's you not. You can't it's do 3,000 miles an hour and then two miles an hour. <laughs> the musician team had like Nugent and stuff on it. Lovely. Ugh. Ugh. Why are we talking like that? Yeah. Uh, gotcha. Man, that was a one, two, three inning there. Yeah. Man, this does come right back to you. Kind of. Okay. Kay Collins. Is that Kerry Collins? No, uh, he wasn't he wasn't playing at this point. Come on. This could be a Pitch. fastball inside corner. Okay. I think it really is going to be. Yeah. <laughs> you, you called it. Damn it, I didn't write to the... Yeah. I've been Real studying bit. the charts. I knew where to play you. Ah, damn it. Stop saying stuff. Have you, have you been to Target Field? Uh, yeah. Real game? Uh, no. Why not? Because huh. I don't yeah. care. I've been to Target Center to watch wrestling a bunch. I'm going there for Elimination Chamber in February. Shut up. My strategy whenever he starts talking to me about baseball, because I don't give a crap about baseball, is I just start talking about wrestling, and I've learned that that actually shuts him up. No, they're just they're here for the Royals. I think, yeah, I think they've got a, a real good team down in the minors. And that's, every, that's every year since 92, Again, growing up with my dad. I sound nothing like no, that. I really think we've got a real chance to do I think the Royals got the good young talent. It's true, though. You said it every for 20 years. They've got a legitimate shot at the playoffs. Oh, yeah, you're good. That's what you say every year. No, no last year it was a real building team, but this year it's... And I've never cared, and you're always wrong. <laughs> you're kind of a mean human being. <laughs> I have to deal with you on a regular basis. No, you don't. You would do that to anyone. Uh-oh. Look at that. Uh-oh. Look at that. That's trouble. That is trouble for you. <laughs> Crap. Oh, man, I could have stayed on first and scored there. Crap. You're still beating me. Yeah. All right, top of the third. Well, this is going quick. Yeah, it is. See, I assumed you were going to throw a slow one there. This is going to be slow. Oh! <laughs> God, that's infuriating. All right, seriously, this one's really going to be slow. You can't... <laughs> man. Super fast, be ready. Ah! So is my guy. Oh, you are. Hey! Leadoff hitter is always fast. What's this one going to be, Dan? Lie to me. Slow. <laughs> oh, that makes me so mad. Go ahead. <laughs> I saw you scratching your ass, and I saw a window. <laughs> What's this? What's the hop? There it is. Oh, yes. this is humiliating. <laughs> this game is awesome. It really is fun. All right. I'm not even gonna. God, I hate it. How have you managed to score three runs? Yeah. <laughs> huh? I don't know. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I'm really tired and hungry. Oh. Damn it. Sure, these sound effects are really helpful. I'm sad it's not hot in this room anymore, Dad. We're not in the hot room. No. That's you your other favorite thing. He will literally text me to tell me that it's too hot. <laughs> They literally just getting a text saying it's too hot. Well, the first year we did this, we did this in that little room over there, with the dog or whatever it was. There was a dog. There was a dog in the studio. You don't remember that? Uh, it was probably Andy's dog or something. Yeah. Yeah. And it was occasionally dogs. And here. it was so hot in there. It was unbearable. Yeah. At least you guys fixed that. Yeah, we got a nice studio here. I can thank uh, Island Boy over there and Ben Hansen. They put a lot of hard work into this. It's it's paying off. It looks good. Oh, I knew that was gonna be slow. Who's this guy, Jim Marr? Uh, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> three in a row. So <laughs> frustrating. Here comes three more. See, in my mind, I'm thinking, well, he's not. Three gonna, more. He's not going to keep. <laughs> he's not going to keep throwing that. Oh, pitch. <laughs> oh. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Hop. Mm. <laughs> I love the hop. Oh, uh, this is fun. <laughs> this game is really good. All right. No one ever talks about this game, like in gaming circles, really. 
Why not? It's just, I don't know, sports games typically, unless like NFL blitzes, NBA jam is, but those are more, they can appeal to casual people. I mean, this was too. This wasn't like a hardcore baseball simulator, but yeah, this game's awesome. It really is. I love how they always argue with the uh, umpire. Yeah. Even when they're eight feet out. Yeah. Yeah. You're really good at the sound effects. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, this could be trouble. Nope, you got me. Ow. You're right, though. The the, uh, me- the button memory comes back. Yep. Definitely does. It should. Here it's I. sad that my brain has retained that. Yeah. You don't remember algebra? I don't think it's sad, actually. You don't remember algebra or anything you learned I don't remember school. anything from school. Did you I go never to, paid attention. Did you go to school? I have a college degree. Uh, I'm not sure how that happened, but... <laughs> uh, Dad, this is your last inning here. Uh-oh. Is this All the right. bottom of the ninth? Or top, uh, top of the ninth, of the ninth top basically, of the ninth. yeah. Here I. Oh, God. Here I. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a psychological test it's game. Wor- it's working. <laughs> uh. Yay! Oh. Yes! There's hope. Keep hope alive. All right, all right. Hey. Can we lead off there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh my! You can't do it again. Jeez. Oh. Candy from a baby, isn't it? Two more outs. Well, this is high drama here. You. <laughs> I'm just paralyzed at this point. One more out, Dad. Oh, I'm gonna pinch. I gotta pinch it. Hang on. No, okay. Because I got my pitcher up. God, I forgot how good this game is. <laughs> Let's go back to your place and just play this. I could. I do have it. I need some... Uh, I need some... That's my guy. Hey, dude, four home runs. Yep. We have four on power, eight on batting, though. Yeah, I was looking for a high percentage on batting. Okay. Oop. I'd go for a homer at this point. No. All right, what do you know about baseball? <laughs> I know, it's not wrestling. Oh, just... Be a man and throw a fastball. I'm going to throw two more slow ones. Oh, my God. How do I keep... Oh, my God. Oh, no. The ball game. All right, that was fun. Good game. Good game to you. (laughs) I wonder how long it's been since we played a game of that. Holy crap, it's been a while. You were what? I would say... 13, 12? I'd say from the ages of like 11 to 14 or something. Yeah, it was in that range. We played constantly. Because I remember where we lived in. It was about that time, yeah. And I remember they came out with the second one for Super Nintendo, uh, Winning Run, and we got that, and it just wasn't the same. We were so used to this one. We liked this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that's that's the thing with you. You find one that you like, and you never want to go past it. Mario Kart's the, the prime example. Well, Resident Evil. Yeah, we I stuck tried. with that. Yeah, yeah, but you didn't go to five or... Six is terrible, but um, Mario Kart was five good. Yeah, it's good. It's it would scare you though because it's not a Wii remote. <laughs> it's true. You tried playing five with me the first year you came up here and you hated it? it because it was an Xbox remote and it wasn't a uh, Wii remote. Was I scared? Yeah, you're like I don't do this stupid. I have where's the Wii? I, this isn't the way I do it. Well, you should go into the impersonations because you do me so well. I sound just like that idiot that you portray me as being. I just, I really want you to try Mario Kart 7 or, uh, God, the 8. Do you have it at your house? I do. Would you try it? Yeah. But no, here's the deal. You say that now, but I'm going to go home and I'm going to hand you a 3DS and you're going to be like, what is this crazy thing? All the buttons are different. (laughs) I might be super tired then, too. Hey, here, will you promise me that you will try Mario Kart 7 at some point on this trip and you will tweet what your thoughts on it? Yeah, we got four days. Okay, because I've tried to get you to play it for a while, so. Okay. There's way too many cables in the corner of the room. That's a, that's a fun note to end on. <laughs> too many cables over there. Island Boy, get on that. All right, Island Boy's going to get on that, and we're going to wrap it Pretty up. Pretty sure it's an OSHA violation. I don't know what that means, but you don't know what OSHA is? I've seen the acronym. It's uh, the Occup- Off- Occup- Office of Safety and Health Administration. Occupational Safety, safety and Health. health. They're the ones that do all the videos where you're driving a forklift around. And yeah, and if a company screws up and somebody gets hurt, they can find them. Okay, gotcha. That's what's going to happen here. All right. <laughs> Dad, thank you again thank for coming you. up. And we got the rest of the weekend. We can just drink and be stupid. So your, your work is done. No work. more scary games. Work. No more buttons you have to learn. We're qualified. Yeah. So, all right, folks. Thanks for watching, as always. We'll bring him back next year, maybe with some more uh, accessible games for him. So thanks for watching, everyone.